Illustrator on the iPad has totally changed my Illustrator workflow because I can just grab reference that I shot with my iPad and use it as tracing reference. So I'm just going to lock this layer here and add a few more layers that I can draw on. And then I can show you my absolute favorite tool, and that is the pencil tool. It's an improvement over the pencil tool on the Illustrator desktop, and it draws these really beautiful smooth curves. So if you've ever had trouble or frustration with the pen tool, you might really like this tool. When you want to edit your curves, just grab the direct selection tool. I'm marquee selecting two open endpoints, and I'll use on the common actions bar this icon right here to join those two points, and now I have a filled shape. It's easy to delete a point, so if I just select one and then tap on the X, Illustrator removes that point but maintains the curve. Another way to edit is with the two-stage shortcut here. So if I drag to the outer ring, I can actually grab a point and slide it along the path. Once you're done editing your anchor points, you can go to the selection tool and tap this plus icon to duplicate the shape. Now I'm going to flip it here in the align panel. Then I can use the shortcut by just tapping on the inner ring and dragging. So the inner ring is like using the shift key in Illustrator on the desktop. Now I can just select both of these shapes and go over to the shape builder tool and unite them. So if I just drag like you do on the desktop, that unites the shapes. I'll tap done. And I can turn this off in the layers panel and go get another color and draw another shape. This time I'm going to use the circle tool and holding the inner ring of the touch shortcut constrains it just like shift to a perfect circle. I'll turn that layer off and go to the next layer and we'll look again at the pencil tool. Let me get another color here. If you use the outer touch ring shortcut with the pencil tool, you can change the angle of your lines. You can draw a straight line and change the angle. And when you pause for just a second, you're creating a corner point there. So it allows you to draw an irregular shape. This will be great for the neck of the ukulele. So let me get the pencil tool again and I'll use the outer ring of the touch shortcut. Then I'll just draw, pause, draw and pause for another corner point, and draw and pause for that corner point and close the shape. Then I'll turn these other layers on, and I still have some editing left to do, but that was really quick. And the best part is that in a matter of seconds, it's here on the home screen of the desktop version of Illustrator, and it's ready for me to incorporate into a project where I can use all the editing features in the full version of Illustrator. Thanks for watching. I'm Laura Coyle, and I teach Adobe Illustrator here on YouTube and in my online learning community. If you're ready for more Illustrator tips and tricks, head over to lauracoylecreative.com and join my email list. You'll get a free welcome gift and my best Illustrator tips sent straight to your inbox. And I'll see you in the next video.